Alright, welcome to Stay Tuned's Garage. My name is Alex, and today we're putting a new rear end in my Mustang. Stay tuned. Alright, so for the entirety of time that I've had this car, it's always had a rear end uh, whine. Um, and I always knew that I was at some point they're gonna have to replace the rear end, um, rebuild it, or myself, like me, do it, or have somebody do it. Uh, which would be very expensive. Um, I was quoted, I think it was like $1,200 to get it done and I wanted to rebuild it with three 55 gears. Um, so, you know. Um, so I was gonna go that route, but I was planning to do it myself. It would have cost me about $500 in parts to do it myself. Um, so I came up with a little bit of a plan. So in order to reduce downtime in me being able to drive my car, I was going to go to the junkyard, buy a rear end from a stock Mustang, and then rebuild that on the side, and then one day just swap out the rear end. Um, and so the other day I did that. I went to the junkyard, it was Memorial Day sale, so I got 40% off on the rear end. And I'll just go ahead and cut to that clip now. What's up guys, I'm out here at a junkyard and I came here for one very good reason. And I found the best thing I could have possibly found. So this is the rear end out of a, a new era Mustang. Uh, so like, I think it's 90, I think it's like nine or 2001 to 2004. Um, and I'm gonna be taking the rear end out of this. It has 327 gears, that's limited slip. It's out of an automatic and that's why it has the 327 gears, which is perfect because in my manual car, it'll make it feel a lot faster because that car has, I think 2.8 gears or something like that, or like 2.7, something weird. Um, not only that, it has a kit of lowering springs Eibach lowering springs, which is perfect because you guys already know I cut my springs and That's sketchy as hell. So I'm gonna get the lowering springs from this car This rear end looks like it's in pretty good condition So that's awesome and it looks like someone already started taking it apart before me. So It looks like I'm gonna get the worm today even though I wasn't the early one which is awesome So I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing out and I'll see you guys later. All right, so as you saw in the clip, I got myself a new rear end. Ow! A new rear end. It's not new, actually. It's used, obviously. I got it from a junkyard. But it is pretty well taken care of. Um, let me try and give you guys a little bit of the, a little bit of the backlash here. Uh, there's almost absolutely none. <laughs> um, it is pretty tight, but it's so smooth. And it's not leaky. Um, it doesn't leak here. It doesn't, le it doesn't leak anywhere that I can see except the breather valve, which is pretty normal. Um, and so let me show you guys. So on that tag there, you can see it says 3L2788. The 8.8 is the size of the diff. It's an 8.8 .8 inch um, differential. It's a 3L27, stands for 3.27 gears. And the L means it's a locking diff. So it has Ford stock um, limited slip differ differential, um, at least their version of it. And so that rear end is from an automatic uh, Mustang. So the way Ford geared the Mustangs. The manuals with a T45 like mine had a three, no, it had a 273 uh, gearing uh, just because the manual output would be different than the automatic output. And then the automatics had a 327 or whatever that one was. And I think the Cobras had a T5, so it had basically a, a six speed with 327 gears, so the same gears I'm putting in it now. Um, so that's, that's basically what I'm doing now. I'm basically putting an automatic slash Cobra rear end in the Mustang, so it should make it feel a hell of a lot quicker. Um, 
Like I said, I wanted to rebuild it with 355 gears, so I am kind of compromising, but my plan is to put that rear end in it, drive it like that. It's gonna be a hell of a lot better, no more whining above like 50 miles per hour, and take that one out, possibly rebuild that, and keep it as a spare in the future, and com like completely rebuild it, new axles, new everything, and have it as a spare, and then when that one breaks, which I probably will um, at some point, uh, put the other one in and have a, have a good time with it. I lost my sombrero, but um, like I said, ow. But like I said, um, in the little clip where I was in the junkyard, I also found, found some Eibach lowering springs for my car, and I got them for like, I think it was 10 bucks a piece. So that is a good deal. And that is it for me talking. I'm gonna go ahead, start taking the rear end out of the car. To take it off, super simple take off the four uh, bolts holding on the drive shaft to the diff and then you take every single suspension component disconnect every single suspension component from the diff and then you should be able to just lower it down uh, support it with either like jack stands or like your uh, your jack and then lower it down slowly because um, it's heavy it's I think if I had to guess, it's probably around 200 to 300 pounds. Um, my dad and I carried it, and even then, it was a, it's, it's just awkward, and it's big, and it's metal, so. Yeah, just be safe, and I'll see you guys when I get this thing out. All right, we got the old uh, rear end out, and um, yeah, um, from what I can tell, it okay. So it's been leaking from here for a while, um, and also from what I can tell, I don't think there's any diff fluid in there. Like from what I can hear, it, it sounds dry, which. Could be why it caused it to wear down. Um, and also, I'll take some responsibility because when I bought the car, I should have definitely checked it and filled it up if there wasn't any, especially since it was making that whining noise. And this axle. Um, but yeah, and it has a 38K stamp on it. I don't know if that was the last time it was serviced or, or yeah, or if that's just when it was replaced or I don't know, um, but yeah, we don't have to worry about this one anymore because we got a brand new one to put in. That took me an hour and like 30 minutes, by the way. The little time lapse you guys just saw was an hour cut down to however long it lasted for you guys. So just keep that in mind. I'm, I'm, I'm very dirty, 
tired. <laughs> Look at myself. I'm dirty, I'm tired, and it's really hot, and I'm really sweaty. But that's not going to stop me. <laughs> Alright, so I got uh, most of it back put together. I got most of the bolts, like that one. Uh, both of the control arm bolts are, are all back. They're not tight, they're loose. Um, the shock bolt is loose. The springs are, are in here. And I put new spring isolators in. I have those from an energy, suspe uh, energy suspension kit, polyurethane. Got that over here. But yeah. Um, both sides are nice and mocked up for the most part. And I'm going to go ahead and put new brake. Uh, new brake rotors and new uh, brake pads and while I'm at it um, the old ones weren't too bad but um, I wanted to show you guys something let me see so on this disc for whatever reason it was hitting the caliper you see so the the, the rotor was hitting the caliper and the caliper you can't really see it that much but it has like a little groove it built in and I wondered why that was so if you see this axle play in here not very much if we come over to the old axle oh it's all the way over here oh you can't see you see it has all that play I know it's supposed to have play like the other one because there's a little C clip inside of the diff that holds the axle in place but it's the other one has way more play and I think that's why it was um, coming in contact with the brake rotor and that is why I'm replacing this brake rotor, well, both of the brake rotors. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna get all new brakes, new springs, new diff, same shocks. I'm pretty sure those shocks are bad. I'm probably gonna get, well, I wanna get coilovers. So that's, that's the big plan. So I'm just gonna save up for that. Um, I would love to do all the bushings cause they are all really bad, but I just don't have the time to do that right now. Or the space um, cuz yeah but yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead put it all back together and I will see you guys when I'm when I'm done all right so I am on my GoPro right now simply because I don't have to hold it and I can just stick it to my window um, so yeah uh, we got the car I'm not gonna take this off we got the car we're going, I'm sorry if the audio is bad. I know GoPros don't have the best audio, but it makes it easier for me since I can shift without holding a camera. Yeah. Um, we got everything installed. I did lie to you guys. Um, I did not put the new brakes in once again because I don't have the hardware and I don't have the little uh, key tool to put the, to compress the piston. I kind of, kind of forgot about that. Um, but next time for sure so Mustang rear brakes to Alex zero they're, they're kind of kicking my ass here but let's go ahead and uh, feel the new car out oh yeah real quick there is a good chance that there's gonna be a lot of bright vibrations that come from from what I did because the because the drive shaft is not balanced was not balanced with this rear end so that might be a stinker um, hopefully it won't be that bad
sun's still out. It's super sunny. like the wide view of the GoPro um, right now I don't have it on super wide I have it on like medium I think and it's still like you can see everything in here it's kind of nice like I'm used to my camera um, being able to like only focus on like one thing if I were to take a video from here you could only see the steering wheel but if I took it with a GoPro from here I bet you could see like everything everything I'm seeing it's kind of nice but I know it doesn't have the best quality. It kind of distorts things. But we'll see. Green. Pretty sure my speedo's off because it said I went 90 and I didn't leave second gear. And before I would top out at 90. Okay. Oh my god, this is so nice. Funny, it's golden hour right now, and I'm sitting here in my car with the, with the damn sun pointing straight at my face. But damn, do I look good. Not really. Well, that, that's going to be all for this video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I sure as hell enjoyed having this car back and fixing it to a certain degree. Now i got to go fix the damn brakes. Um, but it's, it's always something with your project car. Um... But yeah, hopefully I get that fixed soon. Um, I, I'm dying to, I want to buy some new tires and then send these tires out with a bang. Um, quite literally. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that exactly. I don't know if I have to bring a jack with me and put, put my spare on or I don't know how I'm going to do it. But yeah, so, so yeah, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you did. Um, I really enjoyed doing this and working on my car and not, not only working on it, but documenting it and putting it on YouTube. It's, it's fun and it's, it's something to do. Um, I'm, I would be working on my car either way, whether I was on YouTube or not. So it's nice to just, uh, share it with other people and see, 
see what they think of it or how they like it. It's it's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go for now. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links will be in the description. And I'll see you next time. Peace.